Hi everyone, I'm Katya, welcome to my channel and in today's video I would like to tell you about my trip to Canarian Islands that I had three months ago. But I don't know why, yesterday I just felt that I want to tell you about this trip, about this wonderful experience, because it was just unforgettable and I'm so thankful that I had such a opportunity to visit these wonderful islands and I really want to share with you some of my feelings and experience and uh, let's start. I already prepared albums with photos so I will tell you and show you some pictures from the islands. So let's start. I think we should start in a chronological order and yeah, first of all I have to say that we visited these islands with a cruise from a German company AIDA. So we had a possibility to visit uh, five islands within one week and uh, every day we woke up on another island and could explore. So I think if you want to see as much as possible, especially if you travel somewhere around islands, a cruise is a perfect idea. So the first island was La Gomera. It is my favorite one forever because it's completely wild. It's um, This island is not full with tourists, with crowds and um, really the nature as it is without stupid hotels and those ugly blocks of flats or whatever. The nature is really wonderful. Canarian Islands appeared as a result of volcanism so they have a very mounty uh, surface this is a picture from la gomera it's just wonderful it's like mountains covered completely with forests and la gomera is the most green island among uh, canarias because canarian islands are dry they are on the same level as morocco and sahara desert so the climate should be dry and other islands are really dry but La Gomera is completely green. And another picture and it's just you drive and everything is green, green, green and covered with a lot of plants, palms, cactuses and uh, it's, it's uh, a little bit similar like a Jurassic World. It's wonderful. So we had a tour around the island. This is how it looks from the coast. And uh, this is a very famous rock in the middle. La Gomera is the only island among Canaries that doesn't have direct flights. So it's a little bit isolated, but this is its advantage. Famous location, this cliff. And the ocean is just amazing. Just super, super blue. And uh, of course it was cold because it was February, so it's not the hottest season. But still, just amazing. This is me <laughs> with those beautiful volcanoes. Also, they are very, very beautiful forests. Just look, it looks like somewhere in Amazonia. Very beautiful forests and looks completely like jungle. And all these trees are covered with little plants, mold. So it looks just like in some fairy tale. Also, they have a black beach because it's covered with volcanic dust. In this picture it's not visible, but the sand here is completely black. When you walk in white sneakers, it looks completely black compared. And uh, you can swim there, it's safe and uh, not deep, so it's really perfect. Really wonderful island for those who love nature. You can swim, you can make a hiking tour, you can enjoy those forests, that nature, and the city. There was uh, a little town, I don't remember the name, but look, it's so wonderful. Some of these streets with this uh, typical Spanish architecture, a lot of flowers, bushes, very, very beautiful and colorful. It's the best island in my opinion. The next island was uh, completely the opposite to La Gomera. It calls La Palma. 
and uh, maybe some of you heard that in 2021 there was a volcanic eruption and half of the island was ruined with lava and volcanic dust and uh, we were at the next volcano this volcano started erupting and you see it's black it's not lava it's volcanic dust and as we were explained the most danger is not this lava because lava is just a stream and uh, it's not that fast so you can ex escape if something happens but the volcanic dust is heavy so it's like it's, it's not like a dust on a shelf it's like little stones so it's very heavy and a lot of houses were ruined under this uh, weight and uh, also it ruins your lungs because you breathe with it and uh, a lot of people after that have diseases. It was really impressive to see. And this volcano, wait, I will show you a picture closer. I don't know if you see, but this is only a lava stream. And this is all is volcanic dust. And it was two years ago, but now next to this uh, top point, the temperature of the surface is something like 500 degrees. Celsius. And also we were driving through the town that was completely ruined by all this disaster. This was a village and uh, now it's gone. It's completely gone under the lava and uh, volcanic dust. And also we visited another volcano, San Antonio. It was uh, erupting in the 17th century. It's completely huge. You see here, this is the part of the crater, so it's like, if you imagine, it's like here. And after this eruption, all the island was completely ruined and was completely covered with lava and volcanic dust. Wait, another picture. If you see these trees there, uh, it took something like um, four centuries until the life returns to these places. And that's why um, La Palma is completely dead, almost completely dead island with very little uh, plants, trees. And as I told you, it's opposite to La Gomera. But there is another volcano that was erupting before Christ. We were on the top. And now it's almost uh, alive with these uh, pine trees and they are very special. They have very large needles, so it's not like Christmas tree or like a typical European pine. It's like such huge um, needles because, as I told you, there is almost no rain. As you see, it took like 2000 years to reborn the life. For me, it was impressive to feel that, you know, we usually think that the nature is something like plants, animals, ocean, maybe like water. When you see this, you understand that the ground, the earth is also alive. So let's move on. The next island was Lanzarote. I think the second one among my favorites after the La Gomera, because it looks like a completely another planet. It's absolutely without any plants, any trees, any flowers. It's covered with the um, volcanic stones. All these stones, they were lava. Actually, it's it was interesting to know because when you imagine lava, you imagine such red flows, or okay, when it's cool, like black flows, but lava looks just like stones, like black, sharp stones. It was really interesting to see. So, Lanzarote looks like this. <laughs> it also was erupting, but um, if I'm not mistaken, in 19th century, but the island is very beautiful. It's like we visited some different planet. Just look, just look how beautiful. All this black land with the cliffs, with the volcanic dust and very bright blue ocean. It's wonderful. It's just wonderful. I recommend you. I recommend you if you love some extreme and some, you know, I, I call it like, uh, sharp beauty of nature. It's not such an attractive, nice, pretty beauty. It's such a strong and powerful and wonderful beauty where you 
see the strength in every single stone and this was inside one of the towns and there you see all the volcanoes of Lanzarote. It's really beautiful, really beautiful view. Of course the photos cannot express it but it's just amazing, just amazing. And I want to pay your attention to the local architecture. You see these houses, they are white. All the houses in Lanzarote are white. And it looks so beautiful in this contrast, like black volcanoes, blue sky and ocean and white houses. So let's move on to another island. The next one was Fuerto Aventura. This island wasn't super special for me because the nature there I would say it's like half-half, half of the nature, half of the island is covered with sand and they have a very beautiful large beach and this is like a heritage of UNESCO, it's me, <laughs> and this is beautiful beach and it's super large, it's wonderful and there it's not permitted to build something or to park, it's a nature protected area. And we were very lucky because on this island it rains only 60 days per year. We visited the island on one of these days and uh, we saw a double rainbow. A double rainbow! I've never seen this in my life and it was so amazing that we saw this on um, Ferto Aventura. And another part of the island is uh, also volcanic beaches with volcanic stones and uh, this nice water and as you can notice the water here is a completely different color it's more like turquoise and not that azure as in um, La Gomera or La Palma but on this island we made like a city tour and the local people were really very very friendly and I was so happy to communicate with them a little and to go to the local cafes because the service is completely different than here in Germany and the people are really really smiling and happy and friendly so nice island and the last island was Tenerife of course I think the most famous one but I have to say it uh, disappointed me a little because the island itself is beautiful volcanic island covered with green forests but I didn't like the touristical area next to the sea because it looks like this but if you go inside it looks just like a typical touristical area with those uh, block, uh, blocks of flats of hotels and they look just like boxes on this beautiful area and I would like to make them a little bit maybe more fitting inside this surface maybe like a different color or a bit different shape but it looks just like a, such a beautiful wonderful masterpiece and these boxes 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 so on Tenerife I didn't make any city tour but I went to the biggest and the most famous zoo on the planet Lora Park and this is wonderful this was really wonderful the ticket is uh, I cannot say that it's super expensive because if you go here in Germany to a zoo, it's just a bit cheaper, but uh, of course you cannot compare uh, due to this huge zoo. They have of course like African animals, which you can see in any zoo, but I really loved their oceanarium. They have really beautiful aquariums with jellyfish, with little fish, with sharks, and it's really huge. I just love ocean life so much and I would spend the whole day just looking at those fishes and jellyfish. They have also a lot of birds and, and areas where you can walk and birds just fly next to you and also such bridges where you go and also birds around and you feel like in jungle. So pictures, this is from aquarium and uh, before I've seen them only on the TV but they're so cute they look like little cats and uh, really really cute <laughs> and really really funny. There they have also lakes with beautiful Chinese fish and uh, little houses where you can sit and chill, cafes, a souvenir shop. So if you go with children they will be so happy and I recommend you to go for the whole day. Ah, oh my god I forgot, I forgot about the main thing. 
they have penguins. They have penguins in such a huge uh, building. They have a special climate control, special huge, huge, huge aquariums, and made um, landscapes with ice and uh, stones and different types of penguins. So I think there's like six, and there's a lot. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I I dream to see penguins and. They are so fun. It's like some. It's like a completely different species. It's not a bird. When they are on the ground, they look like dun, 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 so slow and a bit clumsy. But under the water, they just like rockets. They they swim really fast and dive deep and fast. And thanks to those huge aquariums, you can see how they hunt, how they swim, and it was amazing. It was amazing. I tell you. It's wonderful. It's really worth going there. It's just amazing. The penguins and suricatas were the best thing. So these were all islands that we visited. For those who live in Europe, for example, or in Africa, and uh, if you want to go to another world, another reality, another climate, Canarian Islands is a perfect option because it's European Union. It it belongs to Spain, so you can go there without any problem. It's not far from Germany, from Stuttgart. It was three hours flight. And you can choose between some of islands or one, maybe. Because even if you go for a week to one island, you can explore it in details and uh, just take with you unforgettable memories. And also, don't forget to try the local cuisine. It's amazing. They have palm honey. It's made with uh, palm trees, they scratch it a little and there is like a juice, but it's similar to honey and very sweet and nice. They also have a cactus marmalade and some local snacks with fish, with meat, with potatoes, with uh, sweet potatoes. So it's a perfect choice for everyone. Of course, if you like to swim, better go in summer or spring, because in winter it's pretty cold as it's Atlantic Ocean. And uh, you can swim only in little places, because uh, Canarian Islands are pretty rocky and have a lot of cliffs, so it's dangerous. But if you love nature, if you love sunny climate and some calmness, then it's a perfect decision. So I hope that it was interesting. I think this is the longest video on my YouTube, but I really wanted to tell you a lot and this is was and this was only little part of everything that I felt and experienced, but I hope that you got some inspiration and maybe you will visit Canarias also one day. So thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.